Hello students, welcome to our class of graph theory. In today's class, we are going to discuss about what is a graph and what are the different elements in graph and also what are the different types of graphs. Most basic things will be discussed in this uh, tutorial. Now, what is a graph? See, a graph is a very popular data structure that we use to represent uh, many complex data as well as we can use it to represent some locations, sometimes distance between locations, sometimes maybe uh, if we are working in any network environment, we can say that uh, every uh, server location or uh, maybe some nodes or workstation uh, delay or something like that can be very easily represented by this data structure. Now a graph is simply like this uh, that uh, we have one image like say, v1 and another one is v2 these two are called vertex and the connectivity between them is called edge so we can say that any graph g is made of two sets one is v that represent maybe just uh, let us uh, expand our graph a little bit more this is my v3 then this is my v4 this is my v5 and they are also connected so this is my v2 my E3, E4, and E5. So I'll say that this set V is made of V1, V2, V3, V4, V5. Okay, all these buttons. And this set E is made of E1, E2. E3, E4, and E5. V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, and E1, E2, E3, E4, E5. Okay, done. So, any graph is, this is a graph that is made of some vertices or, uh, in a, or some vertex and uh, some edges, uh, set of some edges, E1, E2, and E3. Now, a graph can be of two types. One is that a graph uh, may be a directed graph or maybe some undirected graph. Now, say this is a graph V1, this is V2. This is P3 and this is B4. These are the vertices. Now I can have the connectivity like this. E1, E2, E3 and E4. Now this is a graph G <coughs> and this is called undirected graph because if we have some connectivity between V1 and V3 then I can say that you can go from V1 to V3 as well as you can come from V3 to V1. But if I give some direction then you can go from V1 to V3 because you have this path but you don't have any direct path between V3 and V1. So you cannot come from V3 to V1 directly. In the same fashion, you can come from V2 to V4, but you cannot come directly from V4 to V2. 
okay so this is called a directed graph and uh, if you if you don't have this uh, arrow there then that will be undirected graph okay now there are few very basic things that uh, we must discuss uh, to learn what is a graph uh, the first thing is called incidence now what is incidence now what is incidence say we have v1 and v2 and that is connected by e then uh, i'll say that v1 is incident on incident on e and also i can say that e is incident with v1 and v2 as well in the same fashion we can say that v2 is incident on e okay clear yeah, this is called incidence now <coughs> next thing is adjacent vertex what is adjacent vertex now in here this v1 and v2 is called adjacent vertex why because they are directly connected by one edge okay so here v1 is adjacent vertex of v2 as well as this v2 is adjacent vertex to v1 okay now next thing next say uh, we have a curve like v1 this is my v2 and we have a path okay like this so from v1 you can come to v2 as well as from v2 you can come to v1 so this is called parallel edge okay because you have two way. you can have this same in undirected graph also v1 this is your v2 you have one path then another path this is called parallel edge okay now same way if we have a p1 and here we have a p2 uh, they have some connectivity and you have something like this so the edge e1 and this is e2 so i will say that uh, e2 is connected between v1 and v2 but for every edge we know that we need two points now for e1 we have only v1 so that means it will start from v1 and it will end at v1 also right this is called a loop clear now using these two techniques one is called the parallel edge and uh, this uh, loop we can make another graph that is called a simple graph a simple graph is like say v1 this is my v2 this is v3 and this is my v4 they have connectivity like this so they don't have any parallel edge as well as they don't have any loop okay so if any graph doesn't have any parallel edge and any loop then we call it a simple graph okay this is called a simple graph okay now next thing that we are going to discuss is say 
we have a graph like like v1 v2 v3 v4 now nobody that means no vertex is physically connected with these vertex v4 neither v1 v2 or v3 so this is called isolated vertex okay this is called what isolated vertex so if any uh, some vertex is not connected with uh, any other vertex then that vertex is called isolated vertex next thing is called uh, now complement what is complement now say we have a graph like v1 v2 v3 and v4 and we have connectivity like this so our complement graph will be like this v1 v2 v3 v4 and they had connectivity between v1 v2 and v1 and v3 so i will delete them and i will make one connectivity between v1 and v4 now in the same fashion we had connectivity between v2 v1 and v2 v4 so i will simply delete them and i will connect them so all the edges that were present in your uh, graph g1 will be absent in g2 okay all the edges and the rest of the edges will be added there okay now this is called what complement graph okay now next thing that uh, we are going to learn is called a complete graph what is a complete graph all the vertices now say we have a graph and uh, in that graph all the vertices are adjacently connected a graph with n vertices uh, must have n minus 1 edges okay so in case of a complete graph if you have a graph and uh, all the vertices are adjacently connected then that part that graph is called a complete graph okay now on our next tutorial we are going to continue this discussion okay thank you